Let's hear from Patrick Langmaid. Now, Patrick, we know very well. He runs Mother Ivy's Bay Holiday Park. That's Padstow Way, isn't it, Pads uh, Patrick? Good afternoon, Lawrence. Yes, it is out um, outside Padstow at Travaux's Head. Do you know, years ago, my mum, bless her, my late mum, she kept on banging on about Mother's Ivy Bay. I loved it. And I, I thought, what the hell is she going on about? And that was her first lasting memory of Cornwall was Mother Ivy's Bay. So it obviously That's is lovely there. That's marvellous, Lawrence. Have you ever been there? No. Uh, <laughs> well, we need to change that. Well, you, you're going to have to. But I don't do camping. That's the trouble. I used to years ago, but I've saved a bit of money now. So well, camping is camping is wonderful, but it but it is about um, coming on 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 holidays in our hire fleet, or even I could even sell you a caravan if you wanted, and you could have your own caravan holiday home. You're okay. So, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I couldn't do any sales. No, you're uh, naughty, but well, you actually you should do sales because you ain't doing much at the moment. Can you give me a picture of how bad the situation still is? Certainly, um, Lawrence. It things are terrible. We've we've got we've had zero income this year and that that is a flat zero um absolutely nothing from any of our usual income streams so no caravan sales no hire fleet income no touring and tenting uh, and no pitch fees from our caravan holiday homeowners absolutely nothing it's awful and yet i've been watching your twitter feed although you're not earning any money there's loads of cars parked around your neck of the woods near the beaches aren't there Yes, it's lovely, and I would hasten to add, I'm sure that uh, uh, they're all um, uh, local people obeying um, lockdown rather than visitors, but the truth is, we actually don't know that for certain, Lawrence. Nobody can possibly know it. On the one hand, you've got um, Steve Double, M MP, talking yesterday to Julie, Julie Skentlebury, about uh, uh, there was no green light to flock to Cornwall, and on the other, you've got uh, dear old Dominic Raab, talking about um, you, you can telling us we can drive as far as we want to walk um, in a park or a particular area that you're fond of. And um, it rather beggars belief, really. I mean, the message is at best discombobulated. Um, it's certainly very confusing. It's a great word. Uh, we'll hear more from the, uh, the the PM or one of his um, cabinet members uh, at about five o'clock today. Um, what you're saying is the message coming out of government, out of Westminster, means that there will be people driving possibly hundreds of miles to get exercise in places like Cornwall. I think it's already happening, Lawrence, and I think we, we haven't seen the half of it yet. The next, the next thing that's going to be happening is people will be travelling in their motorhomes and camper vans, and uh, they'll be overnighting in laybys. And uh, the uh, local communities are going to see that as they go about their daily business. And um, unfortunately, it is um, you know the local population is already very, very worried, and I incidentally share their worries. I think that. Um, we should remain in, in lockdown to, to beat this virus here in Cornwall. I'm not asking to have my business uh, reopened. I'm not uh, uh, coming on here as a greedy businessman trying to get my business opened. I just feel that it is very, very unfair on the local community to have um, uh, the influx of visitors. And it's not just here in Cornwall. It is across the UK, anywhere that is a popular holiday destination. And whilst I love... Cornwall and we'll sell it till the cows come home mm. to, to, to visitors. The fact is, it's happening all over uh, the UK at the moment that popular holiday areas are being swamped by um, uh, visitors. We hear a lot about second homeowners on this programme and others. Um, some of it is rumour. Um, some of it we know that people are down. I mean, have you actually seen people arriving at their holiday homes? If you have, then they shouldn't be doing it. Well, um, I don't live in an area of Cornwall that has many um, holiday homes. My business is on is on the coast at mm. Padstow. I actually live in Weybridge, so I don't see second homeowners arriving as as we've heard at night and avoiding all deterrent. However. I, I do see, as I walk around Constantine Bay, around uh, doing, going about my, my lawful business, I do see uh, a lot of activity that isn't normally here and has been here since um, uh, lockdown was uh, kicked in in March. So um, the truth is, 
Lawrence, there are a lot of second homeowners who have um, flouted the rules. They have not um, stayed at their primary residences. They've, they've traveled down to their second homes. And uh, it's um, uh, not only is it worrying for the local population, of whom I'm one, um, uh, so, so I'm worried alongside everybody else who lives here. Mm. But it's also, it's so unfair for the caravan holiday homeowners uh, on my park. I'm effectively acting as a government policeman, telling them they can't come down. And yet they're looking at, um, uh, I'm not going to name any celebrities, but they're looking at people and it's mm. all in the public domain. And they're thinking, how come these guys are in their multi-million pound second homes? And how come we're not allowed to our caravan holiday home why is patrick stopping us it's it's it mm. does seem incredible that there's a complete lack of clarity the rules don't seem to be being enforced and indeed it actually feels like there are different rules for different people um and actually it's all very very unfair um a lot of people would agree with that i suppose some of the people you're talking about would argue they came down before lockdown but we won't argue over that particular point um, I do know I had a lot of texts over the weekend, and I was I've been away for a few days um, at home, um, and they were the, people were saying that you know the supermarket seemed an awful lot busier. Um, now that the Chancellor is expected to make further announcements on the furlough scheme, there is discussion that it could go on until October. Would that help you? I mean, are you, how many staff are you furloughing at the moment? Oh, I'm so glad I listened to that. Um, the, uh, uh, we've currently got seven, seven staff furloughed and nine staff working. And five of my team that would have arrived, I um, withdrew their contracts. So um, uh, there's already been an employment consequence of, right. of what, is, what is happening. And as far as the uh, Chancellor's announcement goes that he made in the House earlier, really... Um, he's kicked the can down the path. He's kicked it forwards to October. He's saying that um, from August we can have some form of partial furlough, although I would say the devil will be in the detail, and I look forward to hearing more on that. Um, but even kicking the can down till the end of October, I'm not quite sure what I'm expected to do, Lawrence, when I've had no income throughout the summer, possibly a little bit in, in August, but that will depend on um, uh, the government guidance and what is safe. And it will also depend on the mood of the local population because um, uh, welcoming visitors uh, into Cornwall, if um, uh, the local community really feels that they'd rather be self-isolating and protecting themselves, is um, going to be a problem. And I'm not sure I want to be the person um, bringing thousands of visitors into the county. Well, even um, so, that's interesting. Even if you get permission to relax and take bookings, you may not. You will monitor public opinion, even though you would have permission to do it from the government. Well, um, even if we get permission to do it from the government, Lawrence, in the first instance, there are going to be um, social distancing regulations, um, which might mean that my communal toilet blocks are actually unserviceable. I mean, if, if I'm required to maintain two metre distancing between people using a public facility, it might be very difficult. Um, uh, so so I, I won't be working at full capacity anyway, which might mean I, it's not economic to open at all for touring and tenting, right. which will be very sad if it happens. Um, uh, you might not like tenting, but lots of people do. And um, it will be very sad if we can't open. But yes, I will also be watching um, uh, uh, what what the local community uh, in Padstow is feeling about um, second homeowners, well, not second homeowners, visitors and tourism mm. in general. All right. The last thing we need is a backlash, of course, because there has been some cases of tires being slashed and various things already that I'm hearing about. Um, the last not... thing we need, yeah. the last thing we need, Lawrence, is vigilante behaviour. Yeah. We really do have to leave it um, to the police to uh, uh, enforce um, uh, the rules uh, equally for all of us. And also, we must all be, you know, we mustn't all jump 
to conclusions because very often they're the wrong conclusions. I mean, I, sure. I posted uh, that photograph and I did say, oh, visitors were already here. And quite rightly, it was pointed out to me, they might not be visitors. And I, I did actually tweet again to, to clarify that, mm. you know, who can tell? I mean, that's actually part of the problem with clarity. What is actually going on? Um, we just, none of us know at the moment. Patrick, it's I'll leave it for the very, moment. Very frightening. You and I will be talking, I'm sure, several times uh, in the months to come, and I will at some stage come over and see your place. All right, I'll make that a promise. That That's wonderful, Lawrence. Lawrence, can I give a shout out to Cornwall Hugs and some work that Esme's doing at the moment? Please do. Um, she's she's, she's a, a wonderful person, and she's trying to get accommodation for care workers living in our community around Cornwall, so in all the local communities, not just close to the hospital. And uh, we all need them, we all need to help them just as they are helping others. And we need to give them a safe space to self isolate away from their families. Mm. And with one of my businesses, Martha's Orchard, I've actually handed it over to her so that um, we will be able to welcome. Um, some of these people into um, our property that is currently closed because we are complying with um, government lockdown. Sure. But and it would be great if other holiday park owners and accommodation providers um, Googled Cornwall Hugs and got in touch with us. Cornwall Hugs, that is fantastic. Thank you. And well done for your generosity as well. And we'll talk soon. Thank you, my Thank friend. You.